Hey guys, the new studio is finally done. As you can see here, we've set up uh, Acoustamax sound panels all throughout. We've got the lights, uh, and this takes care of some of the echo, as you can see. Uh, and then we got, what took so long is we got this custom uh, theater curtain rail system here, so that I can come over here, and I can then close it. which will vastly, vastly improve the sound up in here. Uh, and I can already hear it. It is not uh, bouncing off of all the walls and this, this uh, you know, very high ceiling studio uh, with all the uh, lights up there and the lights down here and some even more lights over there shag carpets to take care of that sound so it's all ready to go now this one you're about to see wasn't with all this new stuff i ju we just finished putting all this stuff up uh so it still has like the old uh you know sound and the maybe the green screen not too good the next reviews will have all this but uh i just want to say thank you so much for making all of this possible guys by liking the video subscribing uh going above and beyond with the patreons and the youtube join buttons it all helps uh I want to thank our sponsors, of course, G Fuel for uh, sponsoring us and partnering up with us. Uh, guys, use the code down below to grab your G Fuel now. Uh, we got a new shaker cup design coming up. You can see here uh, towards the end of the video. Thank you guys so much uh, for uh, watching the show and supporting the show. And now that we got everything all good to go, you can uh, look forward to more badass reviews. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy the review. So, Black Widow, I finally have you in my clutches to do whatever I want with you. In whatever way I want. No, no, please, no, leave me alone. Hey, you leave her alone. Oh, Captain America is here. <laughs> you leave my girlfriend out of this. Oh, yeah? Hey, that's my friend! Yeah? That's your friend? Well, it's gonna happen to you too! <laughs> and now we are alone, my princess! <laughs> no! Go away! Leave me alone! I'll never be with you! But yet, I find you oddly alluring! Yes! That is because I'm powerful! Money and power will always rise above the best! Now come here! <laughs> no! 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 Oh yes! Oh, oh your helmet! Sir! Why is it on the table? Get, God damn it! Not before you come in! Yes sir! Did you see anything? No sir, I did not see you playing with your dolls fantasizing about monetization schemes again! Good! Now bleed! Get out of here! Yes sir! Not before you come in, you idiot! Dude, this is crazy. So each mission is gonna be based on that certain adventure. I'm in. Like, this looks awesome. I want to play this. I want to get into this. What speaks to me is the amount of characters in this, the amount of, like, references and hidden things, costumes. There's too much. Uh, I can't even process all this right now. Like, this game is gonna dominate my life. Like, this is what I want out of this experience. I'm ready, dude. Just give me the game. Let's give me the game. That's amazing. I don't think I can keep up with how much action is being thrown at me right now. Oh my god, this game is everything I've ever wanted. Some will have cosmetics and gear that are only available to earn for a limited time. The Avengers Initiative will also evolve over time with the addition of new heroes, villains, regions, and gear for years to come. This game oozes corporate. Live service games. 
Ugh! Just the mere mention of that word bothers me to the core. The idea that you could fucking put something out that's so buggy. Shut it is I, the true god of thunder. Fight me then! Let your lie be exposed. So messy, so non-functional. But I mean, we all grew up playing like X-Men Ultimate Alliance, and those games were so fun. <laughs> See, what, what, what happened was, um, now I gotta fuck! And then fix it later goes against the core tenets of good gaming. This game broke. What part? All of it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean? All of it broke. <laughs> yeah. The release it now and fix it later mentality. The string them along for new content, free updates that could have better served the game at launch. The Avengers Initiative will also evolve over time. For years to come. And the gross corporatization of superheroes in order to sell a shit like Verizon, 5 Gum, and fucking Virgin Mobile. I also won one from Verizon as a Verizon Up member. I know of at least four or five people that got them. And those uh, prizes that you could get through Butterfinger uh, were available for free 90 days later. There's been some five gums spotted at Walmarts with Avengers branding on it. Uh, and then there's this batch of skins that you can allegedly get from Virgin Media, uh, which I believe is in Europe. And then we've got, of course, the five gum, uh, which apparently you can get this Kamala Khan bubble uh, blowing thing. I mean, honestly, who comes up with this shit? Oh, and one more thing. We're also excited to reveal that we're working with Epic Games and the Fortnite team. So when you finish the Marvel's Avengers beta, you will earn the Hulk Smasher's pickaxe with bonus Hulkbuster style in Fortnite. It's so transparent, it immediately deflated my excitement and hype for this game. And I'm gonna level with you. I had to force myself through Marvel's Avengers, which is why I'm sneaking the review here right before the end of the month. Like, I did everything I possibly could to delay the review and avoid finishing playing it. I need to edit together a Necromunda and the other thing, but I'm, I'm gonna do that right now. Because it's so easy, because that game was so fucking fun. The procrastination. <laughs> Here, how about this? this shit is real. Bam, let's 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 teamwork this I shit. Can't. <laughs> you work on that side, I'll continue playing the game on the I main wish one. You could. I think I, I wish we could do that. Right. And it's not a particularly long game either. At only around 12 hours for the main storyline. But getting through the side missions, experiencing all the other stuff, it just gets repetitive and boring. The game shot itself. <laughs> Fuck! So this is the kind of shit we're gonna fucking deal with. All I did was pick up a rock. No and rocks. I crashed. Don't pick up a rock. No fucking rocks! What do you think? This is a fool. Hulk crash! Huh? Don't make me angry! Avengers! You don't wanna like me when I'm angry! You wouldn't like me when I'm angry! Fuck! I gotta do the fucking shit. I'm not doing that again. Do you have to do that again? You do that again. And honestly, I find it harder to review and be creative with like these really painfully average middle of the road games. You know, it's I would rather have hilarious bad ones like Fa Fast and Furious or awesomely good ones like Witcher 3. It gets the juices flowing. But Marvel Avengers is basically the most average game to average ever. No, actually it's kind of worse. I mean, it's ultimately one of the year's biggest disappointments. Look, I was initially excited with the prospect of an RPG of our famous heroes, right? Something different than just a bunch of mindless button mashing. Or, you know, if it is, at least we'd get some great rewards and endless loot. 
the many customization options, play how you want to with each character. I like the idea of my, you know, Black Widow will handle differently than someone else's Black Widow. You need a robust customization system. And I do think that that is what this game is going for. I'm in, like this looks awesome. I want to play this, I want to get into this. And tons of cool customization, right? No! Instead, I get a mindless live service game whose combat does just enough to keep you playing while whose story just completely falls woefully short. I mean, it's pretty much just about Kamala Khan. And I actually like Kamala Khan. I feel like I'm the only one that likes her, but- It's like a gross version of Spider-Man. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Spider-Man's kind of gross. Fuck around with your arm, or... <laughs> <laughs> You <What's> freak. <laughs> Get right, big. Yeah, yeah, well, she's, she's got some nice area. Air, ooh, air, okay. Okay. <laughs> she's pretty good at clearing a whole fucking area and give her some credit here. So Damn. Around some Laffy Taffy. Yeah. Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Goddamn. And she'll take out the fucking explosions. What? Get out of here. I actually like her gameplay. Oh. R1. R1. Oh. Guys, she's actually so pretty spawn from fun. Kung Fu Hustle. Even she started to get cringy and grating just over and over non-stop. Kamala, please. This contest should only be for the real fans. <laughs> and the mob, and the press, and the whole world tell you to move. You plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth. And you say no. You move. What? Leave the uh, hero some time to fucking grow and expand. It's not all about you, girl. Aim, the so-called cure. It's just not lining up. There's something wrong and I can feel it. Don't you? I guess it was. And honestly, I wanted more it to be more about, I don't know, the Avengers that I know and love. Huh, what? Why? Why? And also, it doesn't help one bit that they didn't seem to want to use the movie license, instead opting for these generic faces that look more like painful knockoffs than the actual Avengers themselves. Oh shit, it's the Avengers! No! We are the Revengers! I am Captain Puerto Rico! Hey, Montunia Starch! We will take care of this evildoer! Stand back! Back! Are those people plates? <laughs> yeah. This is... this is just annoying! Be careful, Esteban! Oh, oh it used to be cool! Oh. Your Unabeam seems to have no effect! And... Yeah, harder! Yeah. Hit him harder! This is just sad for all of us. <laughs> How does he have so much help? Come on! So each of the main roster at release has their own play style, but it all just comes down to, you know, light attacks, heavy attacks, and the various special abilities of each character. For my stretchy powers. What, what, what the hell are you doing? Stop it, that's annoying. You're a bad guy though. You better stop him and shoot you. Can you pull your visor up, please? W why? Please? Ah, yeah. you dumb. In addition, there's, of course, you know, character trees that you level up, you, you unlock and learn new abilities for even more combat variety. But when you're fighting the most boring enemies over and over, there's not much point. There we go. You're telling me the cap shield cannot go through that fucking shield. Fuck that. Don't get me wrong, some are definitely impressive and fun like Hulk. The bridge is collapsing because you keep ripping up. Oh my 
my fucking god! Hulk is the fucking coolest of these. Like, why would you play anybody else? Pretty powerful. Oh! Fuck your Hulk smash! Oh! Hit him! <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna hit him with the smush. Yeah, the that would have been way cooler. Damn. But others just don't seem to feel right. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I am Al Gore. Because he out. What the fuck? I don't know why that sound was so funny. It's not really that funny. What kind of armor are these assholes wearing that uh, the heart of a dying star, when it hits him at full swing, doesn't immediately liquefy them? You take the most powerful heroes of the Avengers and you make them feel like they're firing wet noodles? Shoot him in the legs. You wanna beam? I remember it barely does any damage. The convoy is carrying. Oh, we were on brutal last time. We were on brutal though. Uh, Look at oh that! Oh my God! What Look a piece that. of shit! Oh, Fuck! Really no, it's just slowing it down so you can see everything we'll really clearly. No. This is fine. Ah, Return to combat. Nice. What? You, you, <laughs> you have failed. What do you mean? I'm like... just backing up. That's yeah, all. but you're still in combat. You can, man. It's it would have been better if it was button magic. Great. Awesome. Yes, now we've unlocked all these awesome badass moves and we have our character's full complement of moves. When there's literally next to no endgame content to do shit with it then. What the hell? You are terrible at these games, Joe. What? No way. Look at this box right here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do I need it? <laughs> I can't target that. You need that. me to draw you a schematic? Go get that one right there. There's I one more. I see it. I Try. see it. I need it back up. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. This is what we're talking about. But we don't feel powerful. We don't feel powerful. That is the <laughs> biggest boss in the game. I knocked it over. It's these fucking boxes. <laughs> 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 there it goes. <laughs> well, you're the rip off Tony Stark. You're it. Antonio Starch. Antonio <laughs> Starch. <laughs> Worse than the heroes not playing or feeling right is the heroes not acting right. So many things happen that don't make a ton of sense. The, the heroes do not act like themselves. Tony has the stupidest fucking password in the world. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Yes, you are. Groot gets mad. I am Groot. I am what Iron Man. What? No. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Who the fuck puts your fucking password right? in fucking stupid? You fucking dumbass. Here you go, Tony Stark. <laughs> Tony, you are a fucking moron. Characters are turning on each other. Characters are constantly, conveniently absent at critical moments. Where's Thor? That, that's what they were saying. Where the fuck is Thor? Bishop says he has a shift. He has to work. At they best buy. They couldn't call out. They said either you call out, you're call fired. Call sick. He's like, you're fired. <laughs> you gotta make fucking Black Widow who has Family no superpowers be this goddamn robot. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. I made this joke already, but Black Widow is approaching the vents. The vents are weakening. <laughs> or they lose all their money and fame, like literally all of it. You're the, seriously, you're the smartest man in the world and you think to hide or save money somewhere in case of an emergency? Really? Oh my God, Antonio Starch? Yeah, what's up? Um, we have evidence that Cat may have been murdered. Do you do you live here? I do now. Is that dog food? No, this is a poor house. It's got steak and veggies. It's got, it's got the best of both worlds. It's a dog on that. It's a golden That's retriever. That's a nice picture. All right, don't worry about the picture. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, no, that's really gross. How did you not save any money? I know they took your company. Don't you have like money in the mattress? That's not a mattress. That's a futon. 
Oh, um, aren't no, you the I smartest don't. man on earth? Can't you get like an online job or something? You can do that? So you've got a game where your favorites don't feel like themselves, don't act like themselves, don't look like themselves, don't play like themselves, and when they do, the, the, the tiny moments that they do in combat, it's against uninspired ass enemies. You, you're telling me you have the entire Marvel Avengers license and you barely fight any worthwhile villains. Abomination, Taskmaster, and it's basically it, and MODOK at the end. What speaks to me is the amount of characters in this, the amount of like references and hidden things. This game could have really used far more notable boss battles with well-known supervillains besides just robot number two, robot number three, blue robot. What is that? What is that? Is that fucking blue? Is that a fucking blue robot? Am I supposed to be impressed because they get like this camera angle when they walk in? What speaks to me is the amount of characters in this. Get the fuck out of here. That's supposed to be for bosses. This is dumb. He's our last. Remaining motherfucker. And oh, Joe's gosh. got him! Smushed! Good job, Joe. Oh no, you have to fight Purple Man. What? Purple Man bad. <sighs> so, what's left? You'll at least look cool, right? WRONG! Instead of taking an approach like DC Comics and Nether Realms with moduli armor pieces and, and cool takes on famous costumes like you think that they would do in RPGs like they did in Injustice, they do this instead. Higher gear available. I, I have it equipped. It just doesn't show up and I don't know what's with the resource required. Gear doesn't change appearance. Oh shit! I don't like that. Me well then either. what? Well then what uh, changes appearance? And then put on this new vest. Got it. New one. Equip. You like that? Looks really good. <sighs> Remember, you have to pay to change your look. Fuck this game. Nothing. Gear dropped doesn't change your look at all. So there goes most of the point of it being an RPG besides fucking percentages and hidden numbers behind the scenes. Crystal Dynamics, hello? You missed the fucking point. Big time. Sure, you can grind it out for days to unlock predetermined uh, a selection of, of, of full costume changes. But the large majority of them, they aren't that great. <laughs> so of course. And as always, you can purchase any number of them. $10 scans, $10 scans here, $10, $10 takedowns. Who wants a $10 takedown? What the fuck does any of this have to do with superheroes? No, this game has the worst loot of any RPG game ever. What you pick up does not change whatsoever the appearance of your character. Ram, ram, ram. Man, your fucking microtransaction is fucking gay. Pisses me the fuck up. Wow, I got it the worst. I would just fake my death at that point. So what that does is there's literally no motivation to equip anything. Like I said, other than percentages, there's no different weapons and weapon slots to change things. It's just like. What they have here is you can build your characters in different ways, but who the fuck would want a ranged Hulk or a, t a DPS, no, a, t a tank Hawkeye melee build? This dumb as shit. Just make the heroes the way they're supposed to be and make their move fucking cool and awesome. Muscle. Shot. Yes. Yes. Hulk is my favorite. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Burn him. Ah, oh, that that feels good. But no, it has to be such a blatant rip off of Destiny, and it's and not even do it well. Destiny does it far better. You're 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 trying to copy Destiny, and you're doing it worse. And I'm not even that hot on Destiny in the first place. The gear doesn't have it's Cyclops. Different look to it, whereas at least in Destiny the gear looked different. So, so this is already yourself, worse than Destiny. Game. 
It is just nowhere near as fun solo, which is how I play for most of it. It's soulless, it's boring, it's frustrating, and after the initial impressiveness wears off, it gets tedious. AI teammates are brain dead and have no awareness of the objectives. You will have to do the objectives yourself. Hulk! <laughs> Something hit the wall! <laughs> <laughs> to fucking do Don't something. <laughs> because the fucking enemy AI, they ignore your brain dead teammates and they're gonna be beeline straight for you. The whole fucking map comes to destroy you. So you're like, fuck. We need more rock throwing. And that's not to mention the cash shop, the paid battle passes per character, the Intel specific graphic settings that you can only get if you use a certain Intel subset of chips. No thanks. Look. I don't want stuff like this. This isn't what I was looking forward to. Maybe if this game was designed more like a third person Marvel Ultimate Alliance, you know, four player cooperative throughout the whole story, the whole thing, it would have been more fun. But as it stands now as a live service platform to sell us more shit that we don't want, it fails. And at launch, it was even buggier than Anthem. That is fucking hard to do. No, they'll kill thousands if we don't stop them. Then we go to the source. Zion, <laughs> 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 they're pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, we go oh. to the source. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go to the source. A pre-order skin is fucked up. <laughs> now, since then, right now, it's been fixed, but not totally. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. The final verdict for Marvel's Avengers is a five out of ten. No. Worse, it's worse than that. It's a four out of ten, especially at launch with how buggy it was. Couldn't even fucking match make and to get into the pointless multiplayer, where even if you did get into the game, it resulted in just dog piles and on boxes like four fucking characters hovering around just shitty design. Villain sectors are special missions that provide epic showdowns in boss fights that you'll want to keep coming back to. Boss fights that you'll want to keep coming back to. This game is everything I've ever wanted! Nope! We refunded our second and third review copies immediately, Alex and OJ. Like, frankly, any game is slightly more fun with your friends in multiplayer. But this one, it just wasn't worth it for us. We all suggested, we were like, let's refund this as quick as possible. Now maybe we can get a concept like this in the future without it being marred by corporate. But it's so fucking ironic that this game feels more like that parody corporate corporatization of heroes in the Amazon series, The Boys. If you haven't seen The Boys, you need to. It feels more like that than it does our Marvel Legends. I wish I had skipped it. Most of you already have <laughs> three weeks out. And that was the smart choice because it's really not all that much any better right now. So that's it. Forget it. Just... Get it when it's way on sale and don't con your friends into it because it's a waste of their time and money. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. And no, don't expect me to come back in six months and fucking review the Spider-Man portion as if it's going to be any better. Fuck that. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Not even Spider-Man. It's the fucking, what is it? It's the fucking uh, five gum uh, sprint mobile TBS fucking Virgin Spider-Man. No, no thank you. Goodbye. Fuck it up with this corporate <laughs> bullshit. Corporate fucked it up again. <laughs> this is this is just annoying. Be careful, Esteban! Oh, oh it used to be cool. Ugh. It doesn't appear to be affecting him very much. Uh, more power! Is that working? Why does he have so much health? No! Oh, no! I'm Captain Puerto Rico. Welcome to my makeup tutorial. I am Iron Man. No, you're not. You were Tony Stark. Hey 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I do have one extra ending bit uh, for the Avengers that uh, our reaction to the end of the game, that is always uh, really fun. Uh, but first I wanted to say again, we are running the 30% off code for G Fuel. Grab your tub, it all helps the show. And it's wonderful, it is delicious guys, seriously. And plus, uh, if you watch our AJS news shows, you'll know that we ran a design uh, contest for our shaker cups. Uh, G Fuel wants to give us our own shaker cup on our road to our own eventual flavor. Uh, and so uh, we had a stream where we picked the finalists together. I wanted to present some of these uh, guys to you. Uh, so here we have uh, awesome, awesome, like you guys in the community are so creative, so cool. This one by Austin Condi. Uh, we have uh, this one here by Van. We got this one by John. We have one by Terrence, which is really cool. We have Aldoso Ortega, Mr. Ortega. And we have Joseph Putnik. Thank you guys so much for the submissions. These are the finalists. And this is uh, what was ended up the winner. And we submitted that to G Fuel for approval uh, to see if they can uh, make that possible. And there is one little Easter egg that I'm so excited about. Uh, the actual shaker piece, once you up it, uh, open it up, guess what color it is. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin. Anyways, so guys, uh, please click that link down below. Grab yourself some G Fuel. I recommend the PewDiePie flavor. Uh, the Sonic Rings is good. Phase Berry. And uh, I'm just so jealous of those guys that got their own flavors. But you know what? They are amazing. Go check them out. Uh, and uh, it'll help you get through editing sessions, gaming sessions. It's freaking sweet. So... Guys, thank you so much for the submissions. Thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring up with us. And uh, here is the last bit of the Avengers review, what our reactions were to the end of the game. Check it out. Avengers, no more ships make oh, it Oh, I thought he was going to say assemble. Wait a minute, it's calm. I don't think he's going to say it. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Everyone fan out. Buy me some time. Mars. Avengers, charge! What? That is not what you say. I'm telling you, they're building it's it up help. to the end. It has to be. Because no. they said it at the end of the movie. They're going to say it at the end of the game. Avengers, charge. You got him. He's down. Assemble on me. That doesn't count. What? That doesn't count. That, doesn't count. that better not be it. Even the tagline. Assemble on right me. <laughs> the tagline is generic. Option Avengers, stand around me. What? Stand around me. You haven't eaten for weeks. <laughs> is that it? Where what? Is, where is Yo, your Avengers? Your hands are fucking assembled! Assemble. They're never assembled! Avengers, stand by my side, slightly <laughs> off to the left. No, a few steps back. No, a few steps forward. Yeah. You, a few steps forward. No, wait, right there. That's perfect. Mira, aquí. <laughs> aquí. That was fun. Esteban. What the fuck? Is it like a cutscene? This has to be a cutscene yeah, with it's the, be at the with end. Hank Pym. Mute that. And <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I want you want to come to my ant farm? <laughs> no, you got so mad, nobody wanted to hang out with him. He's like, I would make no. my own mute ants. <laughs> I have created an army of mute ants. <laughs> They're all mute. Well, they made this game specifically <laughs> like an RPG, or forced it to be an RPG so that they could put the gear in there, right? And a gear system. And the gear sucks. And there's no point to it. And it doesn't change the way you look. So the whole point of the game was pointless. Hello, Avengers. It's been a while. Who are you? Yuri. No, it's not. If you Mick. Um, <coughs> Mick Terry. <laughs> he has two eye patches. They should have had two eye patches on him. <laughs> Mick Terry here. <yeah. laughs> Get his guns. Mick, put the guns down. <laughs> 